Okay, so now that I've shown you how you can use OpenAI in your games, in this video, I'll show you how you can use AI directly in the Unity editor to help you create your games. So there's three main tools I'm going to be showing you. The first is a custom ChatGPT-like editor window that can do just about anything you could think of. But most interestingly, it can write quality commented code and create scripts directly in your Unity project itself. The second tool is an AI-powered script editor. This is going to let you analyze any script in your project for bugs and potential improvements. And then the AI will allow you to review those recommendations. And then it could even automatically update your scripts and apply the recommendations for you. And the final tool I'm going to show you is a special prompt generator. Now, a big part of getting good results out of any AI is crafting the perfect instructional prompt to give the AI about how you want it to behave. So with this tool, you can simply tell it what you're going for and it'll generate a high quality prompt template that you can use for any other AI feature. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Once this asset is in your project, you'll have a new button at the top that says open AI. You just press on that, click chat GPT, and you get a box like this. It'll have some examples in here for you. Um, and there are some settings that you can customize here. So in this case, uh, besides all these other settings, the main one I care about right now is I want this to output C sharp code only. So I'm just going to tick this box right here. And I also want it to add comments to its code. So I know what it's doing. And so now let's come up with something for the AI to create for us. So, uh, let's say create a unity C sharp script that rotates a game object automatically all axis over time at an adjustable speed. Randomly also change this game objects color to a random color every two seconds and we're going to go ahead and send that off to the ai and it's going to think for a second let's see how long it takes two three four five six about six seconds and we have a fully created script with comments for us now what we can do is just click on the save as a c sharp file button and this will actually create the file in our project. All right, now that's done saving, let's go ahead and open it up and just take a look at it real quick. So here's the script that the AI generated in our project, complete with comments. And it looks like it did just about everything I asked it to do, but let's go ahead and test it out. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm just gonna create an empty, uh, I'm just gonna create a cube game object. And on this cube, I'm just gonna drag the AI generated script right on top of it and we're going to play and see what happens. And so here we can see that our game object is rotating and changing colors every couple seconds like we asked, but it seems like if I change the speed, nothing happens. So let's debug this with AI and get it fixed. So now what we can do is go back to open AI. We're going to choose the script editor this time, and we're going to give it the script that was just created. And we're going to say, testing the speed variable doesn't seem to have any effect on the object's rotation speed. And we're going to identify any issues. Let's see, two, three, about three, four seconds says to adjust the speed variable you need to modify the time dot delta time value in the transform dot rotate and it gives us some code here and uh, some notes so i'm just going to trust it i'm going to say go ahead apply those recommendations to the script and we'll just wait a few seconds for it to apply and we'll try it again all right so we can see here is our rewritten code as signaled here at the top says rewritten code and then here's the adjustments it's made so let's go ahead and give this another play and see what happens. I still have the speed at 20 and the color change at two. Let's play it. There we go. Now we can see the box is moving a lot faster. So let's go ahead and see if we can adjust the speed. 
And yeah, see now as we adjust the speed, it moves a lot faster than it did before. And this was, again, a script created 100% by AI, debugged, analyzed, and updated by the AI. Now I'm gonna show you the final tool again. We go to Open AI and go to Prompt Generator. And you can see this is a very, very simple prompt. It just says, act as a dot, dot, dot. And the default is Senior Unity Developer. But let's go ahead and let's say we have an NPC in our game, and this is gonna be a character. Let's come up with a character profile. So we're gonna say this person is, uh, let's say act as a war hardened medieval knight, a sixth sense of humor. And we're gonna generate an instruction prompt from that generating our prompt and here we go so the prompt it generated says I want you to act as a war-hearted medieval knight with a sixth sense of humor your task is to use your skills and wit to provide entertainment and comedic relief in the midst of battle you should be able to come up with a creative and unexpected jokes and punchlines that could cut through the tension of battle you should also be able to come up with clever strategies and tactics that give you your side the upper hand in a fight here's your first task Come up with a comedic plan to surprise your opponents in a mock battle. Respond only as if you were this character. So let's go ahead and copy this prompt. And now what we're gonna do is open up a demo scene where we can test this out in the chat demo. All right, so in this demo scene, all I need to do is come in here and change the instructions on how I want this chat or NPC to respond to me. So I'm just gonna paste in that prompt that the AI generated for us. And that is how this chat is going to behave. So let's go ahead and run it and see how well it did. All right, so now we're in game chatting with this character we just had the AI create for us. And now let's go ahead and talk to it. I'm going to say, there's a horde of monsters headed this way. What should we do? Send. Give it one, two, about two seconds. I say we give them a taste of our battle prowess. Let's use our swords to create a hailstorm of steel and show them what it means to stand against the knight of the realm. And if that doesn't work, we can always make some clever jokes to lighten the mood and give us a chance to regroup. All right, that's interesting. Someone say, uh, tell me your most clever joke. Let's see how it does. Why did the chicken cross the playground to get to the other slide? Ha ha ha, hilarious. But here we can see that we used a AI to completely generate a character personality for us just by giving it, you know, just a couple words on what we were looking for. And that is the power of OpenAI in Unity.